when y'all go home and you're talking to your buddies and they say, ah, he wants to take my gun away. You've heard it here. I'm on television, so everybody knows it. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in people's lawful right to bear arms. I will not take your shotgun away. I will not take your rifle away. I won't take your handgun away. This is Joe Wolverton with The New American, reporting from the Arms Trade Treaty Conference in New York at the United Nations headquarters. The United Nations Arms Trade Treaty did not receive a consensus vote, primarily due to the votes of Iran, North Korea, and Syria, all three of whom voted against approval of the Arms Trade Treaty. In an interview with the U.S. delegation, The New American was told that the United States was prepared to vote in favor of the treaty. Upon defeat of the treaty, At the conference, the arms trade treaty will now go to the General Assembly for a vote in that body. Upon being approved by the majority of the 193 member states, the arms trade treaty will go to President Obama for his signature. The president has indicated that he will sign the document and send it to the Senate for its ratification. The future of the document is less certain in the Senate, where several senators have expressed their intent to vote against ratification of the arms trade treaty. The global gun grab will continue on, however, as the president has indicated that he will, as he has done so often, use executive orders to implement the disarmament of civilians as as called for in the arms trade treaty. All weapons of resistance, from handguns to missiles and ammunition components and parts, will be left in the hands of the federal government and in the hands of the government of the United Nations. So as as soon as the General Assembly passes the arms trade treaty, The implementation of that treaty will begin in earnest in the United States with the assistance of President Barack Obama and Secretary of State John Kerry, both of whom support the disarmament of civilians in violation of the protection of the right to keep and bear arms contained in the Second Amendment to the Constitution. This is Joe Wolverton of The New American reporting from the United Nations headquarters in New York City.